Hello and welcome back to Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, in this episode, we are still continuing on to try and find the last five remaining Riddler secrets. There are three destructible items that remain, but they all count as one item. So, so long as that's out in the air, I want to address the last four videos i believe that was the last session that i had i uh that was the one that i had at least an energy drink in me to help me or so i thought i want to let it be known that the the rest of the day after that i was fucking gone uh i don't know what was happening i was like out of it like i shouldn't have been driving around at all and yet i had to go about my day and continue doing a whole bunch of stuff and boy was that not fun to experience i don't know what the fuck was up because normally energy drinks only last what an hour to four hours at most this thing lasted until i was fully asleep and I don't know if I caused it by doing something really stupid, which was, uh... The bugs are, like, right here. Sorry. Above me? And I don't know if I caused it by, uh, taking an allergy pill or an antihistamine. And then drinking it. For the video. I, uh... I should have checked to see if that would cause any issues. I did not, and I suffered the consequences. Hard. I... It's not that, like, I was having any health issues, but, uh, I, like... I mentioned how just, like... Removing my pants and my underwear to use the bathroom made every sensation that more sensational. <laughs> There's no real other way to explain it than that. Like, just everything was just uh, odd to say the least. Um, I gotta open this up. This is another. Riddler trophy right in here, using the apes to solve it for me. Uh, and even after everything was all said and done, and while I had some free time, I was uh, playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and my fucking god, like, oh, there's only one monkey in here? Alright, gotta open that. Close that. Wait, what'd that open exactly? What? Oh, I didn't even see that. Thank you. Uh... Yeah, I, I didn't ever actually say, like, what, uh, I felt while doing it. Uh, I, um, in the middle of playing, uh, Call of Duty, I don't know what caused it to happen, but I think I got my heart rate up high enough that I started to go lightheaded. I, and... Like, my mind got the better of me into, like, looking up the side effects of, like, what happens if I were to take too much... No! Uh... Caffeine. God damn it! Can this fucking thing just work? 
work. Mm, God, this fucking shit. It, I just need it to aim correctly. I have him walking in the right direction. I have the camera facing in the right direction. Excuse me, but then... The position of the character also matters? That's fucking absurd. Why? Hmm. Weird. Weird how it's like that. Okay. Uh. And then I I looked up antihistamines. I looked up uh, Benadryl, which is the one that I took, or maybe it was like an off-brand, like like a Walmart brand or something version of Benadryl. Uh. I looked up any anything in combinations of. Uh, that in energy drinks nothing really came about it uh liquid benadryl that uh could cause uh some uh issues and complications with the heart especially if you do have complications with your heart already uh but beyond that just uh the pills even one for decongestion in in the uh, Benadryl pills, uh, it's more of an accelerant. So I sh shouldn't really take um, energy drinks and that, but and I don't know how much of an accelerant it it is. In addition, but one thing that I did end up looking at is the amount of caffeine in venom, which is what I which is what I was drinking uh yesterday. And uh monster energy drink. The amount of caffeine is the same, but on the if you read on the cans, like it's like eight and only eight milligrams less. But it also like for Venom, it differs on the flavor. I don't know about Monster Energy Drink. They might also have differences. Um, Right now, I'm just... Looking and listening out for... More bugs. There's two bugs left. Where could they be? Well, they could be on either of the ships is the issue. Ooh, found one. My guess is that they are both in here because this was the only area that wasn't revealed. Uh, on the map. This giant fucking room wasn't the, was not the only thing that wasn't, uh, revealed. And the first one was somewhere over here. The second one was over here. I'm thinking the third one's got to be somewhere along the right side. I should have seen what color that was. I'm pretty sure it didn't appear as something I could pull. Got to listen out for bugs. Also, wait a minute. Is that an ape still? Oh yeah, that's the ape that I used to solve the thing. For a second there, I thought that was, um, Simon Stag, but I'm like, but Simon's in the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not the penitentiary. What's the word I'm looking for? GCPD lockup. Yeah, there we go. Is it below me? I just thought about it. I think I remember seeing that this area was accessible as well. Hmm. Where does this take me then? Oh. Just here. Okay. So, what then? You know what? 
just so I don't have to come back here and I don't have to start scouring again. It's for one breakable object. I do not care. Stag airship. Ah, fuck. I gotta look at all the locations because I don't remember if I've been to all of them. Fuck. Aha. This fucker. I knew it was here. I just didn't look hard enough, I guess. So I'll come up here. Where is it? Yeah, so it didn't appear orange when I looked around. Here it is. And bam. One riddle remaining. I, I don't understand. What I do know, detective, is that you can't even fail correctly. That's how incompetent you are. Aw, thank you. Uh, I think I can't fail correctly. Something about that seems like an insult, but I don't know why. Maybe I'm just too stupid. Ah, oh, I was hoping I could just dive out. I'm really happy about this, about that. Like going straight from the inside of that to straight outside. No time in between. There's no level loading. Like, it's perfect. And it's something that I really wanted to happen for Arkham Origins, but then again, uh, uh, yeah, uh, a Rocksteady. I always forget Rocksteady's name. Sledgehammer is fucking fine to remember for some odd reason, but Rocksteady? Like, why? Why do I struggle? I don't know. Oh, well. Um, yeah. That is literally everything except for the one singular trophy in the Panessa Studios and it's so fucking close that it's annoyingly close to the entrance anyway. So, I need to do perform two perfect shots in a row in a drone tank battle? What are perfect shots? Like, what? Uh, armored militia vehicles and APCs are on the move. It's up to you to, uh, I just thought about it. It might be better to try and do some of the ones over here to see if I can do them any better. Because I, I have a faster gun now. It might work. With this one over here. I have a faster reload time. I've learned critical strikes. I don't know if those give me more points. It, and maybe Miyagani Island provides me with uh, easier challenges than uh, others. I'm just assuming that Miyagani has easier challenges. Like, it's the first island you go to. But then again, some of the challenges only appeared after completing more and more of the uh storyline i would like to see the um challenges before oh shit before like actually approaching also the um bat points that come after like the wane points or whatever or the stars i mean did those do anything or are those merely like bragging rights like to your friends and shit because i think they're more bragging rights than anything else. Okay. Uh, I was able to score 6,555 points before. I need 8,000 for a wane point. I'll try it and see if I can do it any better than before. Simulation activated. There's that. Another one. Next. Another one. Ah, shit. Missed. Ah, and I lost all of my uh, mojo. 
There's that. Another one. Gone. Fuck. Ah, shit. Come on. What? Okay, next. Oh, you little bitch. You moved right... I'm not, uh, I barely just scored, uh, I'm barely gonna score 4,000, Jesus Christ, that was awful. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I looked at the score, I'm like, that's really close to what the other score was. But that was with breaking the chain twice. So maybe... Maybe I can do this. Just by getting perfect shots. Because the reload speed is faster. Whoa, what the fuck? Why are so many already spawning? Okay. Next. Fuck. Alright, there's that. Next. What the? Okay. Okay, another one. Gotcha. Come on. Okay. Fuck you! Uh, I had that and I fucking. Mm. One more. Where are you? Uh, you're gonna make me lose my chain by not spawning. Are you kidding me? So that's not even the game- that's not even my fault for losing that chain. Oh, what? Huh? What? What? Wait, wait, why? Wait, why? Wait, why? 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 Huh? Why? Why? Why did I get that? Why did I get that? Why? 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 Huh? Why? Why? Uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for stuttering so much and like being in disbelief. I saw 6,000 points and I just didn't care. Is it because I didn't take any damage? Wait, did I take any damage? No, I didn't. Did I? I don't remember. What the fuck happened? What? Huh? Okay. Cool. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of upgrade points, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I need this open to show you. 94.9 left. Or, er, complete in Riddler thing. That's one trophy, which will probably lead me to 99 point... Er, 95%. And then the last 5% is literally beating Riddler. And then... I think that will take me to like 99.9% .9 and then activating the Nightfall Protocol is 100% and I'm looking forward to it. So that's weird. Why? Okay. That's really weird. Wait a minute. I just thought about it. Uh, so long as I'm here, if I can get this point right now, uh, that's six right there. If I can get this right now, if I if I can get four and immediately try and take out one person super quick, I might be able to beat down the last one that fast. Uh, Panessa Studios. Uh, where's the entrance? Where's the entrance? Where's the entrance? 
I might be able to do this without having to do anything extra. And I might be able to beat Riddler this episode. What the hell? I finally learned what causes that. If you hold the stick back, uh, Batman uh, will spin backwards to fly. And it's not like I've found that out just this episode. I found it out quite a while ago, but I never brought it up. Which I probably should have done way before, but oh well. Uh, my nerves are getting to me right now because I know that this is somewhat possible. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Because with at least a four times takedown, I'll be able to get the one on the middle, one, uh, two on the sides, shoot over to the other one, and then the and then the one right after that should be close enough. It should be close enough for me to do it. Oh, please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Please. Like, if I don't do it on the first try, I can always try a few more times. Because it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, shit. No. Uh-uh. I need to take them out faster. I didn't... You have to kind of go at it sideways to trigger it. <laughs> Fuck! Uh-uh, leave. No, leave, 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 leave! <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, why can't you just hop over this railing? Okay. Um. Those two are farther apart than those two. You never learn, do you? Do you? Try all you like. You Wait, what's this about? What? What? Oh. You can trigger the fear multi takedown in different ways. Okay, I want. I want to get them. on this side. Oh, I can't. Maybe it's made that way on purpose. I wish this would re would reset. Like that would be extremely helpful, I think. Okay. So I'm going to do uh <sighs> This is going to be a trial thing. And I can either get it all right here, or I definitely need all five, which I'm thinking it is going to be. Let's go. What? Uh, run! Hmm. Okay, and then back in. Shall we try this again? Again, again, again. Okay. Now I don't know which ones are closer. Go and go. I had a chance cuz it didn't trigger. Oh wait, what? Try as many times as you like. You 
Something's up. You never learn, do you? Do you? No, no, no. Try all you like. You will fail. You will fail. 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 Maybe it needs to reset because that one was not standing up. Shall we try this again? Again, again, again. No, why? Just I want the electrical blast. Just do that. Trying again. Trying again. May have bugged it. You never learn, do you? Do you? Mm mm. Uh, okay. Weird. Okay, yep. So I've tried enough. The four doesn't work. Uh, you, you, you don't even have enough time to do a ground takedown to do that. I need to go and do some challenges then. I need to get eight more points for a single thing. Just imagine if I had fucked up and accidentally pushed, like, the wrong, uh... Upgrade <laughs> that would have been awful. What is this one use the Void synthesizer to lure an enemy into a takedown Haven't I done that already like multiple times Can I just do that with anybody on the street? Wait a minute. I've done it countless times with the robots. Why the fuck doesn't it work? Why didn't that unlock? Nope, uh I don't need the fear takedown. I want the voice synthesizer. That won't work. He isn't wearing a headset. Oh. Hmm. Well, then that one will never be unlocked. Well, what the fuck? What about this one? David and Goliath, outnumbered and outgunned. Destroy six Cobra drones in the fastest time possible. For each drone destroyed, two more will emerge. Any hits to the Batmobile adds ten... Adds ten seconds to the timer. Wait, Cobra drone. Cobra drones are the ones with the fucking weak point in the back. Uh... Alright. I'll, I'll see the times. Because I know it can either go extremely fast or it can... Go fucking horrifically. Okay, okay, we'll join. What's up, guys? Oh god, there's a lot of you. Oh, shit. Oh, what? Okay, that's nice, I guess. I'm countering and it's not doing it anymore. Oh god. I immediately countered after hitting the other guy and... Wow. Okay, destroy six Cobra drones in two minutes, 30 seconds or less. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever done it in... Come on. Okay. 
Okay. That guy was worried about that one spotting me. Okay. Next one over here. Um, gotta destroy six. Okay. Oh, shit. Damn, you really suck, don't you? Five. I can do this. Whoa, holy shit. And it gives me... It gave me all those points for every five seconds under two minutes and thirty seconds. What the fuck? I didn't think I would get anywhere near that. That one was... Was I just handed that? Because that one... Uh... That, like, I just slid, like, next to. I don't think I should have gotten. What the fuck? Okay. Another upgrade point available for me. Seven more to go. Okay. Where am I being targeted? Ah, hello, guys. Ouch. We got a kick in. Race against the clock, chasing down the armored militia transport vehicles and show them who owns the street. Earn a time extension for each vehicle taken out. If I got a one star on this, I don't think, don't think I'll be that good. Even now. So uh, this is a race where you have to like kind of prioritize. Oh, take down armored cars. I got three. Shit. I'll try. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. It kept spawning them and it never spawned them in front of me. Okay. Uh, another one. Fuck. 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 Ouch. Okay, that's three. Another one. What the hell? Why? Just fucking track the vehicle. Why? Oh god. Why? Can you just fucking work? Okay, that's another one. I gotta get... I gotta get three more. Ah! I, why does that happen if you get hit? They don't... They're not armored. And yet they continue to drive straight. Why do I get this treatment and I've got an armored tank? I need two more in 13 seconds. And... I'm nowhere near roads, so that's great. And they're both fucking right in front of me. I fucking hate that. 
They can be anywhere and nowhere at the same time. At one point, there were like four in front of me. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to find them again. Why? That's... I fucking hate that. I immediately saw one over here. Yep. Uh, immediately have the tracker on it. I've. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Next. Vehicle. 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 Please just fucking drive straight. Another one. Destroyed another. Okay, that's four. Destroyed another. Tracker, please work. Come on! Another one. Forty-four seconds. I tried to swipe it. Oh god, I got one just like that. Okay. Another one. Please just fucking drive straight! I got it. Thank fuck. I can get one more, maybe. Okay, I got an extra point. I don't care. God. Fucking. Ugh. The tank sucks so much dick it fucking irks me so much sins of youth what the why what huh what's that about is that getting so many stars or whatever oh wow apparently i haven't done any of the seek and destroy or, or any nighttime strike or it might show me like the closest ones and then oh no it shows me the ones on the island gotcha gotcha Okay. Midnight Fury TT. Take on the Bleak Island Time Trial. Choose your route wisely, looking out for some time bonuses and shortcuts along the way to get the quickest possible time. I think I remember doing that and I got pretty close and that was and that was when I was fucking awful at driving the shit. I've gotten better. Uh and I'm using that term loosely. Complete the course in less than a minute and 45 seconds. I got a minute 58 seconds, so almost two minutes. I barely got the two stars. It seems possible. And yet, I don't trust myself to be able to do this. Alright. See, the biggest issue is that because this is technically a tank, it doesn't take corners well. So just by driving like you would any other car, it just doesn't want to work. It doesn't want to steer. Uh... At all. 
at times. I could have gotten time off. Oh, well. Oh, you can drift around corners to save time. That's nice. That's nice to know now. Uh, of course I missed that. Take time out of my day to do it. Oh, God. Oh, I nailed that drift. Sweet. Uh, how long is the course still? Come on. And I missed it. Ah, fuck. I missed it by two seconds. Okay, so I found out that if you drift, you can save, you can reduce the amount of time. So it's not as bad as I previously thought. Wait a minute, what? You get extra points for being under 125? That's a big... That's a huge jump from 145. <laughs> like, the original stars are 15 to 2 to 145. That's 15 second increments. And then it goes to a 20, and then you, and then every second after that. Wow. Okay. Yeah, let's retry that. And then I'll try and drift more. You have to try and plan it out a bit. And pay attention. Uh, that thing that I said before about it not being able to drive straight still rings true. Come on, just drive. And it took more time to do that drift than it saved me. Yep, I remember that. If you can try and save time while uh, reducing your time, it might work. Fuck, missed that. Oh well. Come on, just right through it, and up here. Fuck. I don't think that worked. Nope. Alright, uh, can I start over? Yep, that one singular thing that I didn't get through. Because the one thing that you can't drive through requires... How did I ever do that first one? Like, where I went over the... When I went off the ramp and was able to, uh, like, drift in the cinematic. Like, that was fucking sweet. And it's fucking me up again. Yay. Ah. <laughs> Up here, and around the corner, straight back down, fuck you, fuck you. Come on. Just drive straight! Why is it so fucking hard for this thing just to drive straight? Literally, like, I I think there's, like, a drift already in it, so you don't even need to drift yourself. Like, you can just... Mm, and the boost doesn't 
help if it wants to. What the fuck is it doing? I can't fucking cross that! Fuck this game. How did I do so well on the very first try and now I can't even get close anymore? I just drove the last time. Now I'm trying to do shit to help me. And all it does is fuck me over. Like that! Like, what's the point of drifting if it doesn't... If it doesn't aid to anything? Because you have to hold it to begin with, and the drift doesn't occur until after you do it. So, drifting is pointless if you don't hold it long enough. <laughs> oh, there's a ramp there! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Just drive fucking straight! Why is it so fucking hard? I swear to God, I'm not making this up when I say it doesn't just drive straight at all. Anything on the road. Anything on the road. And there's so much shit that gets in your way that anything causes it just to fucking slide. Even the road itself will cause it to slide. And that what's and that's what irks me the most. Is that the road itself can make it <laughs> can make it collide with anything. And if it starts to collide with one thing, it's it's like it's magnetized to it the entire time. For that tunnel section, if you scrape against the side of the wall, it'll stay on the side of the wall the entire time because it thinks that you're trying to grind on it. On purpose. Oh, fuck. That just cost me more time than I... would have gotten normally. Oof. Why? Just drive straight! Okay, another thing. Another one. I've got 40 seconds left. Okay. What the fuck?! That wasn't there before! What is it doing? Oh! <laughs> okay. Now it's really starting to piss me off. That wasn't there the first time. So you get a straight shot if you decide to do it. Now there's something fucking in the way? Why? 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 Why the fuck would you ever do that to a player? Why, do, why is it allowed to change like that? And exiting out of turbo makes the Batmobile fucking jit around worse than it jitters in the actual boost mode. And I can't figure that out either. Like, why is that a thing? What the? Don't give me frames. Don't give me a frame drop in the middle of that. Fuck. Fuck. Miss the jump. Miss the jump. Miss the jump because I had already used my boost trying to fucking fix what the game created with a frame drop in the middle of a race that's based on time. God. What? I mentioned it, just the road itself can make it go fucking haywire. Just the road itself!
God, I want to finish this race, and I want, uh, I'm going to finish this race. Whatever time I get next, I am finishing the episode with. I don't care. But I will just finish the race fair and square without any hiccups along the way. Any stupid hiccups, I should say. It goes up the stairs perfectly fine every single time. Why does it slow down? Are you fucking kidding me? I've just realized that I've been making this giant error this entire time by not letting go of the fucking brake. Or by not letting go of the acceler- uh, acceler- uh, The gas pedal while doing- Come on, just fucking drive straight! Drive fucking straight! Please! Why? 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 Why is it so fucking hard for this thing just to drive straight? No other racing game have I ever seen just struggles as much as this does to drive not to navigate through shit but to drive like why why is that a thing like this thing is designed to take air and yet it can't like, it fucking struggles with any little movement, let alone one that is, it, is what it's supposed to be able to do. Why did that car... Other times, you can just go straight through some cars. Sometimes, you can't go through cars, and they bump you instead. Which makes no fucking sense, but you have to live with it because it's a game. And not everything has to follow logic in the games, especially ones with a physics- uh, uh, Especially with a physics system that is supposed to follow ragdolls, but one that allows you to project yourself out of a fucking tank. Why? I can't- I don't understand if the physics are just overdone? or they're underdone, or they're just not fine-tuned enough. Like, why is it so fucking hard just to drive? And that drift came after I let go of the button. Of the drift button, mind you, not, not the accelerator. The drift button. Fuck you, fuck you. Don't give me shit to get distracted by. Fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking stupid piece of shit game. I'm gonna fucking break something back here. Why is this thing so fucking hard? I, no, why is... Why does the Batmobile suck so much ass? Oh, what the fuck was that?! It took a nosedive into the ground, and it just fucking stopped! What's the point of trying to enjoy a game if the fucking shit doesn't work? There are games that are designed to be bad on purpose. That you're supposed to enjoy the wackiness of it. 
Then there are games that pride themselves on being really good fucking games that don't work, that make us feel like shit when we play. Why? 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 You were so fucking great in Arkham City. You were so fucking good in Arkham Asylum. And then this big old ass just comes barreling down the road. This big ass cake that you see right in front of you right now. It's not even any decent. It's like it's pie. You were told you were getting cake and now you're now you figure out that it's pie. Like it's still enjoyable to a certain extent, but it's not what you thought you were getting at all by any sense of the word. Yep, give me this time. See now that that time it just goes right through it. I don't get it. Just make it. Fuck you. Fuck you to the nth degree. God damn it. Simulation activated. When I describe how it's like driving this, it says if there's weight in the car, and then you're also trying to bring a wrecking ball behind you. There's so much fucking weight in the ass of this thing that it doesn't allow it to drive forward. It doesn't allow it to turn. It doesn't allow it to drift. Which is the one thing that is supposed to be a saving grace for all of these fucking time trials. And yet, all that it does is make it fucking harder to do anything. Anything at all. I'm going to go off the ramp. Turn and drift. Fucking do this. Gain some seconds back. Go through here. Get my seconds back. Come on. Okay. Drift. Power through. Get some time. Oh, you have to swerve back and forth. Okay, I thought I had, I thought I was a straight shot the other way. So I was planning ahead with that time this time. Uh Fuck you, fuck you! Just fucking drive straight! Huh. Why? Huh. Fuck you. Fuck you so much. Fuck the Batmobile so much. God, this game fucking sucks with this. The Batman part, so much fun. The storyline, so much fun. The combat, so much fun. With user error, I can accept. I get upset at that shit, but this shit, this fucking shit, why? Why is it so fun? fucking hard just to drive straight. I would have no problem if it was user error. But it's so fucking hard just to drive straight in this shit. To turn. Why would you ever allow this to work like this? Why? Why? Why?